What's up guys, on my last video somebody asked me to do a video about how to have the confidence to ollie up a curb. Today I'm going to teach you how to ollie up a ledge. So first, you have to have the confidence to ollie up a ledge. Second, you have to have the ability to ollie high enough to actually get up the ledge. So first off, when you're learning to skateboard, before you learn to do any tricks, you need to learn how to ride your board. Get comfortable riding your board. You might not like me for saying this, but you should probably ride your skateboard for at least a year. Just cruising around, learning to skate before you try to learn a lot of tricks. As a kid, I rode my board for years before I ever tried to do any type of ollie or anything like that. I would ride the board down hills. I would sit on the board and ride down hills. I'd never even heard of an ollie at that time. The internet didn't exist and there was no real skateboarding videos. Nobody else skateboarded around me. So I had never seen any tricks before. So after you're comfortable riding your board, you need to learn how to ollie and you need to be able to ollie really well before you try to ollie up anything. Do some stationary ollies next to the curb just to make sure you can ollie at least higher than the curb. You need to be really comfortable doing ollies. You need to be able to do them while rolling to be able to get up on a curb. So after that, I would try to ollie off a curb before I try to ollie up the curb. So first off, you can just roll off a curb with no effort. You don't have to really ollie to get off a curb but I would do that and I would actually try to pop an ollie off a curb first because going down off the curb is easier than going up after that I wouldn't go straight towards the ledge you're gonna ollie I would come at an angle like you're gonna do a 50 50 and ollie up onto the ledge that way even standing next to the ledge and practicing ollieing up onto it into a 50 50 stall is going to help and that's easier than ollieing straight on the ledge it's less dangerous it's safer if i was going to learn at switch i would start out you know ollieing next to the curb into a 50 50 first so after you've done a few from an angle then you can ollie straight up onto the curb the main problem people have is they don't ollie high enough and they end up hitting their back truck against the curb and falling that way so even though it's not the biggest thing in the world it's the biggest thing that you've ever ollied up so you have to really think about really sucking your feet up suck your feet up bend your knees jump as high as you possibly can even though it looks like a tiny curb it's still the biggest curb you've ever ollied up so you have to really think about going with a little bit more speed and really popping it, really sucking your feet up. The worst thing that could happen is you could hang up on the curb and fall. So you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure you're overcompensating and really popping the board. After that, sometimes your feet get scared and they just let go of the board in the air and then you just jump off of it. Make sure you have really grippy shoes and make sure you have really grippy grip tape. You know, you want to feel secure and feel locked in on the board. And then after that, you just have to go fast and commit to it. Committing is better. Sometimes you get hurt more when you don't commit. You know, sometimes if you keep jumping off, you end up hurting yourself. So you just have to go fast and commit to this. It's a pretty basic trick, but doing it your first time can be kind of nerve wracking. So because I've been doing this for a few decades now, it's just second nature. I don't really think about it. So in order to understand the problems, I'm going to try to do it on a long board with no grip tape and barely any nose and tail. So this is probably the hardest board I've ever ollied up a curb with. And if I can do it with this, it kind of gives me an idea of how a beginner would do it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.